Hey guys, so we are on our way out to um, Swansea, which is a ghost town out here um, off Shea Road. And as we were uh, coming along, we found this, um, I guess what you would call an aqueduct um, in the middle of the desert. And we are seriously surrounded just by desert and some mountains off in the distance. But here we are with this body of water that's just coming through. And there's a sign over here that says no trespassing, no fishing, no swimming. I'll take you over to the other side. And it's just moving along this way. So I'm going to have to look up what the Arizona project is. But apparently, it takes all this moving water. Okay, so I uh, just looked up what the Central Arizona Project is. And basically, um, it is a diversion project which diverts water through this aqueduct from the Colorado River um, just uh, at the Bill Williams, which I think is just south of Lake Havasu City, um, into the central Arizona area so that they have water. So very cool. Um, so yeah, this canal or aqueduct is what's bringing water into the central Arizona area um, from the Colorado River. Kind of nifty. Bumpy. <laughs> All right, so we made it to a Swansea town site. Uh, this is an old abandoned mine. Um, it looks like it's a copper mining area. And we came out here took us about maybe an hour, I guess, driving from Shea Road in Parker. And they have some signage up here telling about it. And fortunately, they have a vault restroom out here, which I was very thankful for. <laughs> Um, coming along that bumpy, bumpy road. I was ready for a restroom. But yeah, it's very remote out here. And it's beautiful. I think we're going to head down to the uh, the mine, which looks like it is down this way, we think. So we will head down over. We think it's right over here where those buildings are. So we're going to go check that out in just a few minutes. All right, so it looks like there's a, a mine up here that they have closed off. 
and there might be some a little bit further this way as well it looks like there's some right oops sorry there that's been closed off trying to keep the people safe <laughs> don't see a sign for this one but there's a, um, a wide opening here that's covered with this metal grate there's a wooden step up here there used to be pilings for something maybe there was a cover over this before and I'll turn around and show you why I think that but Kind of hard to see down in there. I'll see if I can get in between. It's very dark down in there. I don't really want to lean on it too much, but I could probably go walking out over it, but I won't. It looks like there used to be some kind of a structure that went over this. And right now there's a fence line that kind of goes around. There's an old truck over there, right there. I'm going to go take a look at it in just a second. And I'll go take a look at that over there. So I'm thinking that's another grate over another opening into the mine right there. this old truck over here. It's all rusted out. Tires are gone. Bed is gone. It's kind of cool though. So these actually may be cave-ins. I'm not positive. But they've got some of these strewn throughout. These little, these big metal covers over these holes. This one over here, it looks like they've had more of a cave-in just off to the side of where the cover is. So the cover is covering the hole right there. There's the, the hole, the original hole that it was covering. But now there's this hole over here too. So it looks like it might be starting to give. So I won't go down there. And there's another one up there. see pilings throughout like uh, these right here there's some pilings so I'm looking inside one of the worker cottages from the um, from the window that went along this um, it's almost like a little alleyway here between the worker, co worker cottages and it looks like for most of them, the doors, regardless of which side you're on, the doors are facing the way I'm facing right now. And then the windows were facing towards the back here. So I'm looking through the window and into one of the worker cottages. And it's a little messy right now, obviously. But um, yeah, it looks like at one point... There might have been a loft up here. You can see all the way along there. And then there was a hole there. I'm not sure what that would have been for. Maybe for, maybe the fire place was there or they had some kind of a wood burning stove or something.
could have been the kitchen area.